real Canadian chips. Canadian. Oh, oh, how about that? Canadian. -y. Why we only ever had fake ones? saw your very creative and funny video of Irish people trying Canadian chips on the Troy channel and wanted to share some more Canadian chips from the Frito-Lays portfolio. Oh, so moose flavour. Um, moose flavour? Denim flavour. <laughs> lumberjack flavour. I'm actually really happy to be here because it's me and Aideen's date night and now we get to incorporate Troy into our date so it's one less thing for me to organise. So welcome aboard, it's date night. Whoa! You can see why these are exclusively available in Canada. Mm. I love ketchup. I would put ketchup on. Who the hell loves ketchup? Like? Everything. That's a bit mad looking. That looks it like... looks like salami, doesn't it? Salami. They're like, real ketchupy. It's like putting your nose in a bottle of Heinz. <coughs> the potato has leprosy or something. I'm just worried out that the bag isn't red if it's tomato. Here, with whiff. Oh, that's not red. That's like maroon. <laughs> That's Shade nearly, that's Same your color. hair colour more Catch than... Ketchup hair. <laughs> These are salt and vinegar. Looks like potpourri. It does actually. <laughs> it tastes like a McDonald's burger. They're kind of like prawn cocktail. It's got a, a bit of onion or something in There's it. There's a bit of gherkin you taste, Yeah, yeah, there is gherkin. That's the mm. word I'm looking for. That is nice. Mm. It's not ketchup. Definitely not ketchup. Nicer than ketchup. Yeah, it is. All the onions and pickles that you get in a Big Mac or something. All gherkin kind yeah. of things and stuff. Did you hear about that tomato who died? And at the funeral, the priest said, someone was lagging behind and he says, will you ever catch up? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> they are fantastic. If I'd had them like at kids' birthday parties. She, you would have lost your tongue, I'd say, would you? Oh, kids would have come to my parties. They would have been like, oh, she got <coughs> the ketchup crisps. Oh, I would have hop off a bag of that much in the match. I'm, I'm still stuck on why it's purple and not red. That's, can't go over that bit. But other than that, they're not bad. They're gorgeous. You're making me sick. We're starting strong. Oh, you strong. know he's gonna kill us with something horrible in the middle. You know, look at his face. Well, with that attitude, sure, Brian. Ooh. Whoa! Ooh. Bacon, it is bacon, I knew it! Sour cream and bacon, I wasn't seeing that coming there. These Ooh. flavors are amazing! I love a ridge crisp. Love a ridge crisp. Yeah, you like the, you like the crunch. Yeah, That's I That's like where the crunch, crunch comes from. You smell them, they just smell like crisps to me. Next it's I love French. fake meat. I love fake meat. Look at the size of them. Like, look at that. Just one of those was a snack and I enjoyed it. It's mm. maple bacon, isn't it? Oh, that's yeah, cool. Yeah, it's like a hickory smoked bacon. Mm. Sour cream is quite heavy at the beginning and then you get the bacon test. I don't know where I'm at with this. Not mad about that now. Aren't they gorgeous? Yeah. Mm. So it's heavy at the beginning and then big bang of bacon afterwards. Big bang of bacon. Big bang. That's a great description. <laughs> a big bang of bacon. Maple glazed bacon. Mm -hmm. We got our maple. We were looking for it. It's like, you that see? is good. Because of the ridges, I, I love a ridge crisp. You know, texture does play a part in this. Mm. If you can't get a crunch out of your crisp, what are you doing like? <laughs> you put that in a sandwich with cheese. Oh it, yeah. Wouldn't you? Yeah. Toast a sandwich with cheese, a little bit of mayo. Oh, divine. Look, we know sour cream and onion works. We know sour cream and chive works. We know bacon and maple syrup work. Yeah, um, this does not this work. This does not work. No, no, no. Actually, <laughs> where's this bowl of sour cream, man? We need this. That's what we're missing. It's just a bowl of milk. <laughs> <laughs> Packaging. That's I'm just kind of figuring out what parmesan, roasted garlic. Oh, oh I, I was French. I was trying to figure out what the last <laughs> bit was, but it's it again in French. This is strong. They smell like sensations. What Which, kind of sensation? So we have crisps back here called sensations and they're like a fancy no, dinner crisp. Don't dig in without me. It smells like a pizza in the oven. It's like you're like, it's halfway cooked and you're like, oh, what's mom got in the oven? Oh, you. Right, this is not going to work. No. Garlic looks roasted before it's even Broken out of its shell. Roasted garlic. It's roasted garlic flavor. Oh yeah. <laughs> Just open the bag and let's get into them. Well, you, you went straight in. They are quite subtle in their smell, aren't they? They're quite powerful in their taste. Once my brain got over the rattling sensation, the flavor kicked in. Yeah, it's like a really not nice crisp. <laughs> yeah, it's like a really Could do it a bit more herb. I've been watching a lot of MasterChef and I feel like I need to comment on everything with like, needs a bit more. They're posh crisps. They're crunchy crisps. Mm -hmm. First bag of Miss Vicky's potato chips was created in 1987. Is that the first bag there? I'd say this is the first <laughs> bag itself, yeah. Cheese is definitely playing basketball, but garlic's not. He's on the sideline. Although I'm sure like if I went for a run later, I'd 
smell overwhelmingly. He'd be like, <laughs> Miss Vicky's. I like the branding on this with the with the purple. Oh, Miss Vicky. What are you up to? Where did it all go wrong? You definitely go and eat, eat these in the back of a church, like you know, you know, and you know, when mass is getting a little boring. You're like, Why do you cry? <laughs> Dill pickle. Is this going to taste like in a burger, the pickle? I would think so. I do love that flavour. Green bag, so I'm thinking sour cream-ish in my head, but... Yeah. Do you leave them on when you get the burger? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. I will go out of my way to scrape the pickles off the burger bun in McDonald's. Do you know the pickles are very good for you? <laughs> Doesn't that look bad? I just kind of flew out of the bag like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now you're talking Canada. No, oh, I don't like that. Do you not? No. no you got it, it just tastes like eating a dill pickle. Where's the dill? I'm just getting vinegary-ish. When you eat your Big Mac and two hours later you're sitting at home and you go... Ew. That's what it tastes like. I don't think I would buy crisps with that flavour no, on them. I think but it... too much of that would be too much, wouldn't it? Yeah. I don't know about this one. Yeah. Oh. That's the best so far. No. No, 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 no. Can a tomato be a pickle? Yep. Yeah. Pickled tomatoes. Pickled, uh, do you know what's really good? Pickled uh, cauliflower. Oh my god, put that with ketchup to them at one time. You're getting half of a burger. I have two pickles, I have two pickles, I have two pickles today. That's fantastic. <coughs> she might be right. Sorry, what? Didn't hear you, Brian. What'd you say? I said you might be right. Because <laughs> you, uh, you might be right. I'm going to get the subtitles when that comes up. <laughs> and screenshot. This bag of crisps needs a whole lot of dip just to mask the flavour or taste. I tell you, Adrian, I eat so many crisps now that I think I'll turn into a crisp. I wish you would. Honey. Oh, it's blue again! Oh, I think we're going backwards here. What's going on? All dressed. What's all dressed? Well, on the packet we have an onion, a bell pepper, specially selected potatoes. Oh. Sweet and salty and savoury all in one bag. Well, you'll enjoy this bag of ruffles if you enjoy unique Canadian food. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> if they can manage doing that by giving us a crisp, fair play to them. Ooh! Is it all mine? <laughs> wow. None left for anyone else. <laughs> like ready salt, isn't it? Oh no, they've got something on them. There's a lot going on, isn't it? Oh yeah. Loads mm. of flavour on that. Not what I was expecting. Beautiful. They're like paprika. That little kick of vinegar is class. These are very confused. Yeah. They're going through something. They're going through an emotional breakdown of sorts. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm here for that, yeah. All dressed yeah. up. <laughs> nowhere to go. All dressed. Put your clothes on. Frito Lays. And you're free to lay me. They kind of taste like every seasoning mm. for a crisp in one. Mm, 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 mm. So they said we'd taste savoury, sweet and salty. I can't distinguish any of those flavours. It's like they're all just, just too much going on. These guys are packing the flavour. They're real good. I'm rolling on the floor with ruffles all day long. Honey! Ooh. Honey, honey Dijon. Dijon. I do love honey Dijon mustard. Now, I make, I mean, chicken Italia, which is made from Dijon mustard. I've actually never made it for you, but never. I was like, dude, I love mustard. I love mustard so much. I love this flavour because it's one of the first dishes that I ever learned to cook on my own. But it's Miss Vicky again, and she and let us down. She's been known to make a balls of things with her notions. Where did you see mustard on that? If Dijon is. I didn't see that. I didn't know that. See, she's a bit of a loose cannon, our Vicky. No flavour. No smell off that at all. No. Look at these. They're so cute. Ooh, yeah, nice kick of mustard there. Nice kick of mustard in the nose. Honey, are you home? I'm not mad on them now. They're a bit plain, are they? Mm, I like them. They're nice on the other Miss Vicky's one. Now they get the mustard yet. Did you get the mustard? You have mustard, yeah? If they were a day, they'd be a Sunday because they're just nice and easy and nothing could go wrong. They're just very reliable. Yeah, I'm mm. getting the honey and the Dijon, like, but it's like an aftertaste. It's like at the very end. I'm like swimming in a sea of, I don't know. Do you know? Is that a positive, I don't know, or uh... Well, I'm not drowning. We're swimming. It's not all up in your face. No, they're, they're not really up my street now. Here we go. Burger time. I feel like I'm back working at McDonald's. This Ooh. Is... Oh! Ooh, that was confusing. That was beautiful. Because I didn't like a lot of them, these are beating them. Do you know what I mean? But they're not winning out of all the pile. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we bloody go. The holy trinity here now, mm -mm -mm -mm. isn't it? Mm -mm -mm. Now we're talking. Mm. I'm never talking again. Oh, mm -hmm. amazing. That's great, hmm? You're having a good day, aren't you? I'm having the best day ever. Yeah, it's a great day. Well, Canada's keeping it real, I have to say that now. You're welcome. 
great flavors. Yeah, I think we, we definitely yeah. had ones we probably would never would have had before because yeah. those flavors don't exist here. And the fact that they love their ketchup crisps there and that's such a new thing, unique yeah. thing to Canada. Yeah. I love that. They definitely serve their purpose. But you do you, babe, don't worry about it. Doesn't my palate. Yeah. They're beautiful, every <laughs> single one of them. Take it away. <laughs> Merci pour regarder cette vidéo. Si tu aimes ce que tu vois, euh, tapez le bouton ou euh, euh, le klaxonnez le, le cloche. Ding. Clochez la cloche. Ding, ling, ling. Merci. Merci. <laughs> Frito-Lay.